In this, our last program on organic chemistry, I want to take a look at a very special molecule, benzene. Now, benzene has a chemical formula C6H6. And there's numerous ways you can draw this particular molecule. You could draw it as a cyclic structure, a linear structure, or even a cyclic structure with branches. However, Frederick Calculet came up with this idea for what the benzene molecule looks like. It's a six-membered ring with alternating double bonds in it. If this was indeed the molecule for benzene, we would expect the double bond to be a short bond followed by a single bond, which would be a longer bond. So we would expect some asymmetry about the ring. What we find is that the ring is perfectly symmetrical. So this molecule needs some modification. Let's look at how we can do that. Here I have the Lewis dot structure for calculate structure. If we can take, for instance, this double bond that's present and break it open, what we can do is take those two electrons that are there and move them. So one of them goes to this carbon and one to this one. And we do the similar with all of the other double bonds. We break them open, moving their electrons to individual carbon atoms. So now we have essentially single bonds present with one free electron associated with each carbon, which leads us to our next picture. Here we see the single bonds between the carbons, and this circle ring, this represents our ring of delocalized or free electrons. This now gives us a substance that has uniform bonds between the carbons all of identical length and strength, which matches more closely experimental evidence for benzene. We also have some more evidence that this is the structure. Let's consider, if we will, the reaction with bromine. So hypothetically, if this was the correct structure and I was to bring along bromine, the standard test for a substance with multiple bonds, so I, room temperature I should be able to react these, we would expect the double bond to break open creating sites where the bromine could attach. So we would expect the product of this reaction to look something like this. So the bond opens up and a bromine would hook on here, and a bromine would hook on here in an addition reaction. And then the hydrogens would be still here on the periphery. Well, Experimental evidence shows this does not happen. We don't get this product. What do you get? Well, if we bring bromine, first of all, nearby, we need more severe conditions than just room temperature for the reaction to take place. The final product has the still maintained the carbon ring structure. It's still completely intact with identical bonds of length and strength. So this has not been disturbed. What we do get, though, is bromine hooking on at one of the locations and a second product, hydrogen bromide. This happens in what we call a substitution reaction. One of the bromines is hooked on and another, the hydrogen, has been displaced to form hydrogen bromide. So when benzene is placed in a situation with a halogen, it undergoes substitution not addition reactions, which again support this model of the atom. That brings us to an end of organic chemistry. Join us in our next unit on data processing and measurement. Thanks for watching.